Okay, so here we are for another X Files update. Yeah, it's late. So, um, I'll get to it. The X Files, the second season, volume two, disc four on Laserdisc, the Color Sorry, and the F E I I don't even know how to say that. Emmas Colada. F Emmas Colada, whatever. So the first episode was basically about a kid that was possessed by evil and they were trying to get it out of him. And it, it was like it was something similar to like something you would see like uh what's it called when you take the evil from someone? Oh, I forgot the way in, in horror movies they have it all the time. Um, That ritual. Oh, look. An exorcism. Death. That's what it was. It was something similar to that. With all these weird people putting things on the kid. and It was very creepy. And then the second episode was... Um, Mulder was trying to catch this prisoner that had escaped. And he had some kind of um, wacky um, infection virus that he was spreading around everywhere. You know, this is a really, really... Um, these are two pretty good episodes. See... The great thing about Laserdisc, or not Laserdisc, the X-Files in general, is basically it's a good show. And it's not scary, despite all these aliens and bl blood and guts. It's really not a scary show at all. It's um, it, But it's very interesting for the sci-fi fan. Despite what people say... The real way to watch it is on Laserdisc. There is no other way to watch it. These big discs right here. This is the way to watch it. And even with a few scratches on the back of this, it played perfectly fine. So, um, I'm just going to tell you that's how I feel about Laserdisc. See, I have a big collection. I put everything in my closet here. Well, not everything. There's laser discs in other places. And um and I watch all the episodes as they come. Just like to let you people know that um yeah, I let you to let you know that um basically <laughs> I'm at the almost uh, at the end of season two. I have three more episodes, which kind of sucks because the next laser disc will have one episode on one side. One on the other, and then there'll be a final disc that has one episode on it. So I'll have one disc with only 45 minutes, and I have, then I have to take it out of the laser disc player. So, um, that's that. Um, you know, I've had a great, great time, but no, pro no problem at all with the quality of the laser discs, especially, um, the, going through the sec end of the second season now. I can only imagine they'll look the same as they do now or better. I don't think they'll get worse. And, um, yes, um, you really can't compare it to a DVD. Um, at least, uh, they said after season four, the DVD started to look better. Something about the animal form, formic, whatever it's called, widescreen, whatever. I have the DVD sets. Uh, that's a Christmas gift. So, um, when I get that, that'll be like... Christmas, so when I get that, I'll, um, when I'm finished watching all the laser discs, I'll start watching the, the DVD sets, and that'll be that. Um, <sighs> am I gonna retouch with the new X Files series? The two, um, the event series, whatever the hell it's called, it's in here somewhere. I showed you the big set I have for um, laser discs. Um, I don't know if I'm going to touch up on it, to tell you the truth. Because they're really not that good. Seasons 1 through 7 were the best. The original movie was okay. But the, um, the second movie they made was kind of shit. See right here. This actually still goes for a lot of money. And, um, let's see. I want to see what it's called. Um, that, that's wrong. Spy 6, 7, 8. Shit. Um, we have ooh, 
pretty know this. January Fox. Let me tell you what year it was from. No, it doesn't. That's just the thing they put in the box. Jeez. What I don't like is this stuff is all made out of cheap cardboard. Boy, does it. It's not what it used to be. Um, let's see. I put it in this sort of the X Files season eleven. They call it. I thought it was called the event series, and then the yeah the other one season ten was called the event series. So um, let me just they left space in here to put the event series, which was really cool because um, you could just put it in the original set and. Um, that's that. No no problems with that at all. Um it might be a little more expensive if you if you buy it with season ten and eleven included, but you're not like I said, it's not the end of the world. I really didn't like it that much. Um all the actors aged. Agent Scully, I don't know what happened to her, but she looks a lot different in season ten and eleven than nine. I know people age, but that that was not a grateful age. So, um, all I'm going to say is I really enjoy doing this. And I hope one day everyone gets a chance to watch this on Laserdisc. I'm two volumes away from, from um, completing the X-Files on Laserdisc. I need Season 5, Volume 3, and Season 7, Volume 4. And I got them all. And, um... I think I'll eventually be able to get Season 5, Volume 3. But Season 7, Volume 4 is a different story. I could never see that anywhere. I found this new website where I got just got Volume 1 for Season 7. And um, let's just say they, um, the, besides Volume 1, Season 7, I wasn't able to get any others. Because I have them all. So, um... I'm going to have to f find the very last box set somewhere. I probably never find it, to tell you the truth. I feel the same way. I got lucky with the Deep Space Nine. I was able to... See, if you're worried about Laserdisc rot, you shouldn't be. First of all, these sets are hard to find. So even if you do get a little, little dip Laserdisc rot on a set that you buy... Just keep the set and watch it like it is because chances are you'll never be able to purchase it again. And then it's only one episode, hopefully. And even if the whole set has a little laser rot, it's better than nothing. Um, laser just gives you a whole different experience than what other people um, get from a DVD or a Blu-ray. There is no real comparison. In my opinion, I like to watch the retro old style, old style stuff the way it was in the late 90s, early 2000s. Some people want everything to be upgraded in 4K. If you want to watch this show the real way, in my opinion, that you, sh you should watch it. Watch it on Laserdisc. Um, and then watch it on DVD. It came out on Laserdisc before DVD. I think the first DVD was 2001. This came out on Laserdisc in... Well, oh, shit. Let me look at the... Let me look at the year. I know the Laserdiscs definitely came out. One, one... The Laserdiscs... Hey, I happened to pick up the one I just... The Lazy Discs came out in 1996. It says it right on the back here. Or maybe it wasn't 1996. Let me look just to make sure. And then there's another 1995. So we'll just go with 96. That was made well before the DVDs. And it has better quality. Up until about season 4. Like I said, I'll double check it again. Um, up, until, up until about season 4... And then after that, someone said, because it's anim animophobic, that's the end of it. Um, I'm going to tell you one thing. The, the DVDs are not a bad bargain either. If you don't have a Laserdisc player, 
the DVDs is the next more authentic thing to watch the X Files. Um, I put them in a, a blue, um, a cheap blue. Now I'm stuttering at the end. I put it in a cheap Blu-ray player. That's from Goodwill that I bought for like 10, 15 bucks. That upscales. It's like a 2000, it's what, 2008 or 2009 Blu-ray player. One of the early game ones. It upscales the DVD really good on a 32 inch television. It looks excellent with the DVDs. And if you want to know where to buy a great Laserdisc play, uh, great TV for a Laserdisc player, uh, oh, actually no, if for DVDs, not Laserdisc. If you want to buy a good t TV to watch DVDs, buy the 32 inch LED Samsung from Best Buy or from e um, Amazon, you can, either place sells it. That's just the right size, and the pixels density is just, just the correct way, and you can watch DVDs perfectly. If you go any higher, DVDs get distorted. You see all that. What's it called? Um, the the pixel um, um, or, um, the artifacts or whatever, whatever it's called. So. Buy that TV and you're all set. You'll um, it doesn't play laser discs very well. I tried putting it has a composite in, in co component on the back. I'll tell you right now the um, let's see the uh, the composite doesn't work very well. I tried to reroute it through component once. That didn't really work well either. The only, I've had real success with S video on those Sylvania TVs I have. You can still find them on eBay if you look. Or get a CRT television. Or that other Sony, um, Wega. You can get it for 150 to 200 bucks. That seems like a lot of money, but in this line of retro stuff, that's nothing. You can buy a $150, $200 TV. It's about 22 inches and it plays standard definition content almost exactly like a CRT television. That's another way you can purchase it if you don't want to buy a CRT. Um, no one else tells you that online. They, you, I just found, I happened to find one of the waggies, um, the widescreen flat panel waggies at um, Savers, and I bought it for 13 bucks, fully functional, no, strain on the screen no um you know like mocks and there was one mock on the screen but when you play movies on it you can't see it at all the light covers shines right through it which i was lucky B because um i thought the mock was going to stay in the screen but it, it, it s video seems to have more luck with me but a lot of people have more luck with composite all right, well, I know I talked too long this video. It's supposed to be just about the episodes, but keep in mind um, what I just told you. All right, bye-bye.